Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. My name is Yemisi and today I want to share this amazing recipe with you. It is a very sumptuous, delicious Nigerian soup and we'll be serving it with Chivita. So I will be serving with Chivita iced tea and also Chivita exotic pineapple and coconut nectar. And that's because Ninja meals taste better with what? With Chivita. So if you're interested in seeing this recipe, keep watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Let's get cooking. For ingredients, first of all, we have ungolo. It is like periwinkles, but they are called sea snails, and they are very yummy in this fisherman soup. You should get it if you can. Then we have periwinkles. I love how colorful they are, and I use it for a lot of soups, a lot of it. So make sure you get really fresh periwinkles that are bright and colorful. Next, we have some palm oil. Palm oil is also going to add beautiful color and that umami taste to this meal. Next, we have crabs and crabs just add more to this dish. The flavor of the crabs, also the color of the crab, it just makes this soup very distinct. I have pepper here, yellow pepper, also called unsuka pepper. I have some red peppers and I have onion. So we're just going to blend that and add it to the soup and half of the onion we will chop. I have some cocoa yam here. This will be boiled, peeled and blended. You can pound it. What you use it for is a thickening agent for the soup. You can use yam if you don't have cocoa yam or you can use oats. For the fish, I have um, red snapper and I have barracuda and I'm using these two fishes because they stay well in soup. They are not going to scatter or break into pieces and that is what you want. I have uziza seeds here. Without these uziza seeds, your soup will just be bland, you guys. This is fisherman soup and it needs taste. Also, we have some uziza leaves. The combination of the uziza leaves and the uziza seeds is what is going to bring a lot of life to this soup. Next, I have some king prawns and some prawns, and they are huge, you guys. <laughs> they are really, really huge. Look at them compared to my finger. It will not be fisherman soup without prawns as big as this. And then we have some crayfish powder. Some people like to use it. You can skip it, but I love it for this soup. And last but not the least, we have some giant snails, very, very big ones. So if you can, get it. To start off, we are going to cook the fish. This soup does not take long to cook, so I'm putting all of the fish in a wide pan. Then I'm putting the ungolo. The fish and the ungolo takes about the same time to cook. I'm also going to add the snails. The snails take longer, so I will show you what I will do with it later, but I'm going to start everything off in this wide pan. You need a wide pan for this dish, if not, things can just scatter so now i'm adding some onion i'm also going to add some blended pepper you know the pepper i showed you earlier i'm adding some of it and then i'm going to add some salt also some cameroon pepper because of that flavor and it's fish so you want it to be hot and then we have some stock powder this will season everything and give you a nice broth so i'm just adding a bit of water to cook it i'm going to cover and allow to cook for about 10 minutes in another pan i'm going to add the washed cocoa yams i'll cover it and allow to cook till it is soft it's been about six minutes. At this stage, I'm going to add the crabs. Crabs take between five to, let's say, seven minutes to cook. They don't take long at all. And we're still going to put it in the soup. So I'll just add it at this stage now, cover it and allow to cook. It's been about 11 minutes now and the crabs are cooked. Everything is almost cooked. The snails are not cooked totally. So I will be adding them to a sauce later. But for now, I'm just going to check on my cocoa yam. It is soft already. If you put a fork in it, it should just like pierce through easily. That's how you know it is done. I'll just go ahead and blend that. 
in another white pan I'm going to pour some palm oil you use according to the quantity of soup you're making so I've just added just a little palm oil I will allow that to heat up and then we will put our pepper blend while I'm waiting for the sauce to cook please do me a favor click the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't it lets me know that you want more recipes like this from me I'll season with some salt and stock powder and I'll allow it cook into a stew. So I'm adding the snails now because it is going to continue the cooking process in this stew and I'll just cover it and allow it to get done. Once I like the taste of the stew, I'll just add some of that fish stock from earlier. I'll add enough water to make the soup. I used about two cups. You can use as much or as little as your soup is going to be. And then I'll add some crayfish powder, lots of crayfish powder because it gives it a lot of fishy taste. And then we're going to add our uziza seeds that have been ground. It gives this soup a very distinct taste. Without it, the soup is just going to be bland. Once the snails are cooked and I feel like everything is incorporated, I'll add a bit of water and then I will add the blended cocoa yam paste. Make sure it is smooth because you want a velvety texture to the soup. And don't use a lot, just use a little bit at a time and then just keep stirring it till it melts. Once it's melted, I'm going to add the prawns because we're almost at the finishing point of this soup and prawns don't take long to cook but because these are like really big prawns, they will take a while to cook so I'll put them in now and then I'm just going to stir it. Once the prawns are cooked, I'll bring back the ungolo and the rest of everything that was in the previous pot. I'll bring back the crabs, the fish, everything and just allow them cook together. If you have more seafood options, do not feel like you are restricted to everything I use. If you have calamari, you can use it. Any type of seafood, octopus, shark, anything you fancy, <laughs> put it inside this soup, okay? And you will love it. Once everything is combined, I will just finish off by adding the periwinkles. The periwinkles are the last things you add because they don't take long to cook. Just look at the beautiful color of this fisherman soup right now, just when I've added the periwinkles. Like, it is so, so pretty. Next, I'm going to add the uziza leaves. It is going to add color and more flavor to this dish. If you've never tried fisherman soup before, you totally should because it is filled with so much goodness and richness. I'm just going to mix everything together so that it is well combined and the flavors can mix well together and then our soup is cooked. This fisherman soup is from the River Rhine area of Nigeria. Nigeria is blessed with so many types of meals and I feel like we have not even touched the surface of everything that we have. If you've never tasted this soup, please give it a try. I want you to try it out. You will love it. And when you're trying it out, make sure you pair it with Chivita iced tea or chivita exotic pineapple and coconut nectar it is just a perfect pair because i believe they go well with ninja meals in fact ninja meals taste better with chivita so please give it a try if you do tag me on facebook instagram twitter youtube tag chivita on social media they would love to see what you pair your chivita after spending time in the kitchen, I rewarded myself with this chilled <laughs> chi exotic pineapple and coconut nectar. I really, really like it. And you guys, this soup, fisherman soup with my fufu. <laughs> 
what some people will call loi loi hey it went down well together i wish i could share it with you which is why you have this recipe to work with follow the steps and you'll get the results thank you for watching today's video don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you like what you see i'll see you in my next video bye